Hello guys, this is Code13 and today I'm going to show you my new Blender setup. First, go to this shading arrow and in the color put it to texture. Then in the options enable cavity and put the type to both and shadow. Now let's add this palette. Let me show you how it works. Select the cube, go to the edit mode, select a face, and this dot appears. And if you grab this dot, for example here, the face will turn the same blue as this color. And you can do that with multiple faces. And this one is darker because we've got shadow enabled. Now let's make this part. Go to this shading tab, select the object you want to add the palette to, then drag your palette inside of this node editor. And in the palette, select the color and drag it to the base color of your mesh. Then in the interpretation options, from linear, put to closest. And now go to the UV editing tab. And you can make, you can color objects like me now. Now let's add some add-ons. The first add-on I want to add is loop tools. Let's search for it. Loop tools. And save preferences. And what it does. Go to edit mode, select face, then press right click and there's the loop tools. But first let's subdivide the face a couple of times and also subdivide this face and now let's select this square and the same here and if I right click and press loop tools there is this circle option and if I press circle it makes me a circle and then if I delete the faces I've got this circle and now if I go to edge select and select this circle and then shift select this circle and then I go to loop tools and uh, bridge the circles connect and it is very useful in uh, modeling now the second add-on is called by the way the cube is white because I didn't connect the palette to this cube, I connected the palette to the cube I deleted. The next add-on is called Auto Mirror. So go to Edit Preferences and search Auto Auto Mirror and save preferences. And what it does in object mode, you select the mesh, then you go to Edit Edit Auto Mirror. And if you press auto mirror and go to the modifiers of the cube, it, it adds a mirror modifier and the clipping option is turned on. And if you go to edit mode, it's mirrored. And you don't have to add the modifier and turn on clipping. You can just press this button. Now, um, let's see the third add-on, which is boot tool. So go to Edit, Preferences, and search boot tool. And save Preferences. 
and what it does it also appears in the edit tab if I duplicate the cube and put it here for example then shift select the second cube I can click on difference and it and it is the same as this boolean modifier but a lot faster let's see uh, the fourth add-on which is landscape let's search for landscape and landscape and preferences and now I can shift A, mesh, and landscape o option appears here. If I click on it, it creates me a landscape. If you don't want the landscape to be a mountain like, you can go to the operator presets, and there is all the types of landscape. For example, I'll create a lake. I press here and it's like I can also if I go to the noise settings, there's this random seed option option and if I increase it or decrease it, there are new variations of the lake. Also there is this sphere option and if I click it it turns into a small planet and I think this add-on is very good for if you are making 3D art for games especially low poly games and if you want to make this landscape low poly you can select it and add a decimate modifier and put it to 0 0.1 then you can shade flat and you've got a low poly planet and the last add-on I want to make I want to show you is the extra object mesh add-on and I'll save preferences and what it does if I press shift A and go to mesh I get a lot of more objects so first this rock generator is the same as landscape but it generates rocks not landscape this is a single vert. The round cube is basically a cube that is subdivided two times and that is a bit smooth. And there is a lot more. I especially like this mechanical parts, for example, the gears. I can make this gear, the number of teeth, and also I can make a pipe joint. And then I also can make a diamond. So this is it. And if you want your uh, every new Blender file to look like that, you just go to File, Defaults, and Save Startup File. And this is the end of the video. If you liked it, subscribe and subscribe and press like. And now, bye.